All right, guys, so we are a little bit late getting into the Razorback Ramble here at the Hot Springs Off-Road Park. Uh, me and Ryan here have uh, kind of stayed up late and uh, couldn't get going this morning. So, uh, but man, we had so much rain yesterday. It is uh, pretty wet. So we just crossed the street. We've gotten over here on the back side of the park and uh, we're just uh, kind of just checking traction just to see. Uh, we're gonna make this loop probably back around. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll get some video here in a minute when we get something worthwhile. Here at Dave's Point, and it is a beautiful overlook, but it's also a good spot if you're wanting to get a little cell coverage. From up here, cell coverage is perfect. Check out that view. Guys, before we get into some wheeling action, just want to say thank you so much for all the support. The channel has hit 3,000 subscribers. We have just had our 2 millionth view. And we are just excited for all the things that we have coming up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and we'll get back to the action. So we're going to switch drivers here. Let Rhino have a little uh, little shot at the uh, fun run here. Was you nervous? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> it's not my rig. <laughs>
Oh, I just smoked my <laughs> I didn't get it. This is uh, a fun run. It's been uh, been pretty epic. Uh, we uh, I got down there, and you know, if anything about fun run, that granite slab when it gets wet, it's kind of it's it's nasty. But uh, we we didn't take any crazy lines or anything. Uh, not really. It was uh, just trying to maintain some traction. But anyway, it's pretty washed out down there at the last little obstacle that you come up. We managed. And it's hot. It's real hot. Jungle hot. Yeah, I mean like. Warm. Grab another water. <laughs> All right, uh, I think uh, next we might hit uh, Rubicon Ridge go do that trail i've not done that one before um or uh just something easy i don't know everything's kind of a little uh a little more difficult today than it normally is so but uh i was rocking this dobinson's with uh finally now being able to uh, not worry about cutting a tire or doing anything weird with uh, uh getting my body mounts relocated uh it really really is doing quite well so I'm gonna get off this trail and uh, get in the AC for a minute. Like I said, it's hot. Very hot. All right, so we just basically went from one end of the park to the other. And we're at uh, Rubicon Ridge. You know, this is, uh, it's not too terribly difficult, but uh, there is one spot where you kind of come down and if you try to ride the wall, uh, you end up uh, uh i mean you can you can you can roll pretty easy so i'm just gonna ease down this and then after we get through doing that we'll probably be looking to maybe grab some lunch or something
Stay straight, you're good. This is smoother than the, than the access road. Yeah, I know. Keep coming. It's about to come up. About to drop. Come this way just a little bit. All right, now straighten back up. You're good. Keep it straight. There you go. There was one uh, spot there. I was like, <laughs> all right. When you were coming out, yeah, you when were trying to. You were trying to turn. When it unloaded. Go down this hill and then I'll get back in.
Keep coming. There you go. There you go. Tires off the ground over here. I'm hungry and I've made a serious judgment in error and uh, hopefully we can get some assistance. First things first, you should not be wheeling anything really difficult alone, okay? So that's first thing. Um, if there is a bypass and you kind of question yourself doing and you get halfway over and then you're kind of like, well, I'm committed at this point, it's sometimes probably not too terribly bad you just back back out of it so you're not in a situation like I am right now I got a tire in the air we're kind of like not square with the hill and every time I move the brake uh, the vehicle unloads and she tries to uh, to roll so we're at the very end of Rubicon hopefully somebody will see it and help Yeah, thankfully, uh, Ryan heard some vehicles at the end of the trail and uh, ran down there and uh, caught up with these cool dudes in some uh, built FJs from Louisiana and Mississippi, and they helped me uh, ride the ship, so to say. And our time here came to an end a little bit early, but uh, we had things that we had to do. Thank you so much for watching our video, and if you liked it, please give us a like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we will see you out there.